Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be the airport final. Now, I want to go ahead and talk about something real quick. I want to thank each and every one of you. It's been amazing the past couple days. I had a lot of support. As a lot of you know, I was pretty sick, and I'm still not feeling the greatest. I'm still really tired from being sick, so I think this is going to linger for a couple days. But it was really awesome watching all the messages you guys gave me on the last episode. And it was funny, even some of you guys were trying to like diagnose what was wrong with me and trying to like give me advice and tell me things to do. So that was really cool of you guys, but anyways, I've gotten quite a bit done here. Now, you're probably noticing the new vehicles. You've got a big fuel truck here, and you've got a Red Bull Air Racer right here. We're going to go over these vehicles here in just one moment. Now, if you recall last episode... This whole area wasn't enclosed. We had the fence running about, I think the fence was running down to about right in that area. I now have the airport completely closed up. And I'm not going to go through all the buildings again. Every building, I think every group of buildings, actually there's a piece of paint missing on top of that. I'm going to need to fix that. But yeah, every building's kind of got its own episode. Like I did the hangar and the tower in one. I did the fire truck in another. I uh, did the uh, terminal here. So each little building kind of got its own episode. But the only real building I added was this one here. Now, a lot of you guys were saying, hey, how is this an airport if you don't have any way to fuel the planes? And I fixed this. This is a little fueling station. You've got a little fuel pump here where you can come and get gas on like the biplane and maybe the Cessna. Now, for the bigger plane, you're going to have to actually use the big fuel tanker truck and I'll go over that here in a second but yeah this has also got an interior you've got like a little control room in here you can go in say if there's an emergency you can shut down the pumps these buttons just don't do anything but they're just here for show you've got that you got some large tanks in the background it kind of looks like a shell station and that's the truck matches it here so yeah that's pretty cool looking Another thing, since I enclosed the whole airport here, the only two ways into it are through the terminal, say if you're just somebody that's coming through, or there's a gate over here. Let me go ahead and look at that gate. I get a little bit of lag over by this gate. This fence seems to be a hot spot for lag, so you're probably going to notice the frame rate lower here in a second. But yeah, if you need to drive, say the fuel truck's got to come through, or say you own your own aircraft here. You would drive in, and there's some parking over... I think I made some parking right to the side over there. So you can come in, park your vehicle, and get into your plane. But yeah, there's a little booth here. Now, yeah, this is where the lag is. I don't know what it is about this one area, but... Anyways, you walk in. It's a two-way door here, so you can shut it behind you. You can control the little gate here. So you can move the arms up and down. And I actually added a road all the way around to the front terminal. There's a there's now a parking lot there. I haven't made a road out to the main town yet. Uh, reason being, that's going to take some time, and I really don't want to make an episode about roads, so I need to find some time in between episodes to complete that, because a episode about roads would be really boring. Uh, speaking of new episodes, uh, you guys, go ahead and start giving me some new suggestions here since we've finished this thing up. I've got some open areas. We'll go over this towards the end of the episode, and I'll show you some of the open areas and maybe some of the things I'm thinking about. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at the fuel truck next, and then we'll go over the new airplane last. Another thing, uh, last episode, I made the mistake... I made a couple of mistakes on this biplane, and you guys were great about pointing those out. So I have a new updated biplane on the workshop. The biplane that I had... I screwed up, and I mean, it was a pretty major screw up. I didn't even notice it, to be honest with you. Uh, the pilot's actually supposed to be in the back, like this. I actually had him in the front, so I switched that up. I added some moving parts to the back, so it makes it look a little bit more realistic. But yeah, I'm glad you guys pointed that out, so I went in, switched it all out, so it's good to go here. It was actually really cool today. Uh, I spotted I Ballistic Squid, I think I'm saying that right. He actually featured my private plane here, so that was really cool of him. It was actually kind of shocking when I saw that on his episode today. So, that's really cool, and thanks to him. Uh, but, yeah, let's go ahead and look at this fuel truck here. Now, this fuel truck... I looked at a couple pictures from Google. Uh, they were all pretty similar. Uh, you've got a big tank here. Now, this thing's really heavy. It's made completely out of metal. 
but you've got this big tank here in the back. I'm going to sit this somewhere where I can drive it around. Maybe right here and we'll drive it down the runway. But you've got some extra things in here. Now the actual motors are under it. These motors right here are just for show. Maybe they're the pumps for the fuel. Uh, you've got a big metal tank on the back. You've got a ladder. There's like a hose. This would be where either you're filling the uh, station up or maybe you're fueling the uh, plane. So you've got that little hose on the back. It's a triple suspension in the back. They're pretty close together since you have the dual wheels here. And then you've got the triple suspension in the front, all pretty standard. Uh, the motors, there's actually two of them. Uh, one of them's powering the front wheels, one of them's powering the back wheels. Pretty standard stuff here. It's actually just a really nice vehicle though. Uh, it's really detailed. I'll show you the uh, engine compartment here in a second. Let me go ahead and hop in. Now, one thing I've noticed, sometimes the doors don't shut all the way. Let's see if they do it this time. See, they did it that time, but sometimes they get stuck, and it's something to do with scrap mechanics physics. All you have to do is place a block down and erase it, and they seem to shut. I don't, I don't know why it does that, but it's just the way it works. But yeah, you've got a roof hatch here. The horns work, so you can honk those. Uh, the interior, it's pretty standard. In here, you've got kind of like a dash, some buttons. I probably need to color those buttons. Got a seat for a passenger. And the last thing that you can do, let me go ahead and open that up. You can open up the engine compartment. Quite a bit of detail there. It's a nice looking engine. Really happy with the way that came out. So let's hop back in. Close that up. I'm going to close this top part and we're going to drive off here. Now it's not really fast. It's really big and heavy and it's a fuel vehicle. We don't really need to go fast. I mean, you're carrying some dangerous stuff here. You don't want to crash and blow everything up. We might need the fire truck then. But yeah, handles good. Pretty standard. Uh, the reason I build a lot of these really standard vehicles, I mean, these are, this is stuff you guys request. Uh, when we're building this whole theme, there's just certain vehicles that have to be in the world, and this was one of them that just had to be in the airport part. Uh, kind of like the baggage cart, uh, the little tow vehicle. Now, I didn't build... Somebody asked for one of those little stair vehicles for bigger planes, and I didn't feel like I wanted to build one of those. For this airport, it just seemed like it'd be a little out of place. This is a pretty small airport. But there's all that. Uh, there's the helicopter. That helicopter is absolutely driven me insane. Uh, it still doesn't fly very good. And it's something to do with the blade on top. It creates too much motion. I need to really sit down and look at that one. That's like the only air vehicle here that I'm not 100% happy with. Like these other ones are absolutely awesome. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out the Red Bull Racer. This is the Red Bull Racer. Now, this thing, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Red Bull Air Race. They race through these courses. They're like blown up pylons or something. And they race through and try to set the best time. Uh, it's like a time trial. Now, they don't actually like set a lot of them out there and race them all together. It's not like six of these going at the same time. Obviously, that would be very dangerous. But still a really cool event that they hold. Uh, really, Still really dangerous. I mean, considering they're just flying right off the ground. But... This is my take on it. Now, it's got a couple imperfections. Uh, first being the front propeller. There really should be three blades, but when I did three blades, it threw the balance off bad. Like I had a third blade and I had two of them on controllers, uh, so it made them at an angle and you had the one poking straight up. And when it started to spin, like I couldn't even compensate for it at all. I was gonna, I have thrusters all in the front. When it was spinning, it was pushing the left side down, so I actually powered the, uh, left side or the right side thrusters up and it still wouldn't balance it like I went and I kept just trying I kept moving from thruster to thruster trying to figure out a balance and I, I would get it to stabilize some but as soon as you turned it absolutely went haywire so we had to go with that design now another thing the uh, Red Bull Air Racers I probably flashed a photo on the screen they have a canopy and well, I would have used one of the windshields that Scrap Mechanic gives you, but I had to make the plane here. It had to be odd amount of bricks. So this would be odd amount. That way I can set the propeller in the middle and it'd be dead center. Well, that creates a problem with back here. These windshields they give you, and actually there's a bigger one. There we go. They're an even number of bricks, or not bricks, blocks. They're an even number. So that presents a problem because I need one more, like one more wide and this would fit. And this would actually look really cool if it was setting on there. But unfortunately that's not gonna work. I tried to use the glass blocks and I couldn't make a 
canopy that looked good. It was it looked really awkward with all the blocks. Like you have the smooth angles and then you had a really blocky canopy. So I decided just to leave it an open cockpit. Not too bad, but yeah, I think we're ready to test this out. Now this thing is pretty fast, kind of hard to control. It's really sensitive. I wanted it to be fast. I have no clue what the Cessna is doing back there. I know the sensors back there bouncing it up, but it's it's moving itself. Eventually, uh, probably when we get back, it's probably going to be across over there or something. Anyways, let's go ahead and fire it up. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking how to fly my airplanes. I try to explain in the in the videos. A lot of these are based off how Moonbo makes his fly. Now, let's see. We've got the controller here, so we're going to start the propeller up. The propeller doesn't move very fast. Uh, if you made it move really fast, I originally like put it on an engine, and that would twist up, and it really creates a unstable ride so we went with this now there is a motor in the bottom so you can carry yourself forward it's a little rocky and I think it's because what I had the back setting on I have it set on a pipe piece and it seems like those are not completely smooth but uh you can kind of get yourself going down here uh, the a and D actually work so a and D will kind of shimmy you from the left and the right I need to figure out something I can do from that rear part because it makes it a it's a pretty rough ride when you're just rolling around. But as soon as I click the one and two keys, it's gonna take me off. Now this thing takes off really quick, and I could have turned those thrusters down to make it look more natural, but I need a very agile airplane, so it kind of just takes off. Oh, actually I didn't power up my front thrusters. Well, I should have powered up my front ones first. It would have made it look like I actually was gonna take off, but Kind of looked a little awkward there. But that's just kind of the way the scrap mechanic works. Uh, it doesn't have a real flight model, so everything works like rockets. But yeah, I'm going to keyboard dance here. Excuse me if I talk to myself a little bit when I'm flying. It's something I do because I'm trying to maintain control. Now, I could put this on a WASD. I could map it, and I think it'll work pretty good. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Now this will be available in the workshop too. It'll be under Red Bull, probably final because I had several versions of this before I was happy with this one. Now as far as the paint scheme, the paint scheme is pretty standard. It's not based off just one of the Air Bull, or Air Bull, I don't know where that came from. It's not based on one of the Red Bull airplanes. It's just, there were several that look like this and I'm probably gonna crash here. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna hit a tree. I'm gonna hit a tree. There we go. Actually, this is a funny thing about Scrap Mechanic. I'm just going to kind of float off here. And we are good. I really wish the camera, I wish you could fix it to the back. This would make this so much easier. But it's not easy because, you know, you're dancing around the keyboard. Both hands are on the keyboard and you got to shift around and get your uh, mouse moving. So I really wish you could lock it down to say like right about there would be good. Uh, you can get a good view of the town. But anyways, about the paint job, it's pretty standard. It's a mix of several different pictures that I saw. I really wish you had like a stamping system. That'd be cool to be able to paint like the Red Bull logo on here. I would try it with the pixel art, but I don't think I could fit that in there. I don't think it would look very good. So kind of keep it pretty standard. Maybe eventually we'll get a mod in where we can put our own little artwork on there. That would be really cool to have the Red Bull logos. And then maybe have my logo. That'd be cool too. But yeah, uh, the three and four key roll the aircraft. The five key dips it up. The six key dips the nose. Uh, the yeah the five key lifts the nose I should have said that but yeah it's a pretty stable it can be a little tricky you gotta be really really light-handed with it you can't just mash the keys because it's gonna you're gonna lose control <laughs> but yeah it's pretty fun maybe eventually we'll do something with pylons we'll make a race or something I don't know if anybody else could race me I don't know if they can control these things to be honest with you uh, actually Moonbo could uh, maybe we could teach some other people how to fly these things. But yeah, that's about all I've done here. Like I said, it's a little bit of a shorter update. I just, with me being sick, I lost a build day. A day that normally I'm going to sit down and stick about three or four hours into the game. And I just didn't, I was not feeling it. But like I said, thank you guys for being so supportive and understanding. I mean, it's been, it's been awesome. And the channel's been just absolutely blowing up the past couple of days. Actually, probably for the past week. I mean, I had my biggest day on YouTube, I think it was Wednesday, and that's a really odd day to have your biggest day on YouTube, but it's been great, so I want to thank you guys for all this fantastic support. 
We've got plenty more scrap mechanic coming up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that race yesterday. That was something that was extremely fun for me to do with all those guys. I think that's something we're going to do a little bit, little bit normal. It's going to be like a normal thing. We'll just call it that. I'm not sure exactly. Like I don't want to say too much because I don't know exactly what we're going to do. But I really like playing with other people. You guys have always, always told me like, hey, you need to do some collabs. So that's my collab. Also playing some other cool games. So if you'd like to join me on those. But yeah, this will all be available to download. Like I said, the map, it's a little hard for people to run. Now there is light at the end of the tunnel there. Supposedly, there's going to be a new update here in August. It's going to be an engine update. And that should, op hopefully it's a good engine and it's going to optimize it and everybody's going to be able to play my world. That would be the best case scenario and that would be absolutely awesome because I would love for everybody to be able to enjoy this. Uh, that's the ultimate goal. That's why I'm sticking these on the uh, workshop because people still get to enjoy at least the, the vehicles themselves. The town originally was just like a backdrop. I never intended for it to turn into this. I mean, it just did. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. And I'm glad you guys, I mean, that's what's really boosted the channel, is this whole town thing. Some people ask why why I'm still working on it, and that's, that's why. I mean, it's something you guys really like. So, eventually we will move on. I want to hear some suggestions for more stuff for the town. And I want to hear your, your guys' suggestions, and I'm probably going to tank this thing right here. Let's see. Can we save it? I really would like to get around at least, if I'm going to crash, crash into the airport here. Ah, the camera. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That's oh, it almost looks like I'm a stunt pilot here. Nope, 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 nope. Never mind. S spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Oh, oh, there we go. Well, we're going to go ahead and shut it down there. I was going to attempt to land this episode anyways. It's a miracle if I do that. But yeah. Like I said, give me some suggestions for other themes because eventually we will do another themed world. I know a lot of you guys have talked about the apocalypse world, and if I were to ever go back to that, which is a big possibility of me going back to that, it might not be that exact map. I might start a new one. Take some of the new things that I've learned from Scrap Mechanic and other people and implement them into that. And maybe that'll be a build where I'll get other people involved. Because I haven't done that yet in it, as far as like actually building a world and playing with other people. So maybe that's something we're going to do. But anyways, I think that's about it. Tomorrow, we'll probably play some other game. Probably be Terra Tech, to be honest with you. That's I've been really enjoying that, and that's been something that a lot of you guys have enjoyed. If you'd like to join us over on that, always welcome to view my other videos. Uh, we'll also have some more team stuff coming up. Some stuff with other people, uh, maybe some more group things. I'll have another town update. Should be on Friday. Uh, I'll let you know if that's going to change. Should get some quality time, but I need to hear some good suggestions from you guys. I need to know where to move next. Because the airport's pretty much done. I'm not ruling out ever doing some more flying aircraft or helicopters. I still might do some of that. But as far as the building and the area, I'm pretty well happy with what it is. And I really don't want to put too much more over there because it's going to start to lag really bad. But yeah, post your suggestions below. Thank you guys for all your support. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. If you're new to my channel, I've had a lot of new subs within the past week. Welcome to the channel. Feel free to comment down below. I read through everybody's comments. I try to reply to as many as possible. So if you've got any suggestions, anything you'd like to see, any other games you'd like to see, I'm open to playing other games. I got to fill in those days in between my scrap mechanic. So any suggestions, just post those down below. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.